We are going to see what a normal one looks like. A and normal what, jalapeno? And for this one. <laughs> and there's a story behind that. Look. But do a comparison. Look at that. Big difference, isn't it, Mo? <laughs> so what did y'all think of Grayson's comparison on the normal jalapeno and this jalapeno? And there's a reason for that. Hey, y'all, it's Lippy. So I thought I'd start the video off with that little clip. This is what happens when you walk away from your garden. Not that it was being neglected, Bud was out there every day, but I know what I'm looking for. In other words, the day before this one was to be picked, I'd say, okay, that plant I will harvest the following day, and so on. Because I'm in my garden twice a day, sometimes three times a day, because it's that quick that things can change. And as soon as you can get sight on an issue that's about to arise or a problem, you can Hand, handle it. You can you can shut it down. Hopefully at the start. Well, let me give y'all some backstory, and I will go ahead and do insert a small walkthrough because when I actually was able to walk through my garden today, I went ahead and said, "Let me film." Friday we made. Didn't we make the pickled eggs on Friday? I was feeling great, no problems energetic. Hey, I was ready to rock it out because I knew harvest was coming and I had cleaned a lot of the garden out on Friday. I think I told y'all a week prior. Zucchini was leaving, squash is leaving. A lot of things was leaving as they start being spent because that all that's doing is that's housing bugs and predators with the triple digits that we have here in the south. We don't garden come the end of June. Now, I have mostly determinate tomatoes. I do that for a reason, because then I don't have to worry about splitting, blossom and rot, all the bad things that happen in these extreme temperatures that the South gets. Only this year, they came in heavy and early. Um, we've been in triple digits now 10, 12 days. So my judgment call to plant first of March was a great judgment. And that's when I tend to what I call summer garden plant. Now it's about harvesting and preserving and getting things amended for our fall and winter. So really and truly from, I don't plant anything from June 1st, except one thing that I did do, and y'all are gonna catch it because I, I said so when I planted, well, the Red Rippers. Normally I'll do that in the fall, but I knew I'd, I could bring something back in that potato bed. That was a bad call, but you'll see why. So they will be leaving tonight, being put in a burn pile. But anyway, Friday we boiled eggs. Life was great. I had went out, checked the garden, you know, and harvested more that I wasn't sure I wanted to take out Friday morning, but I said, yeah, because we had some storms coming back through as we did yesterday morning, a lot of wind. Shreveport got damaged, we didn't. Friday evening about six o'clock, I was like, mm, I, don't, I don't feel right, I'm kinda off. Did I eat something? I had, um, I had a salad, I had some fruit. Normal, my, my normal daily diet. I'm real big on fruit, I'm big on fish, protein, whether that be in tuna, salmon, whatever, um, vegetables, especially this time of year, cucumber, a tomato, you know, your normal stuff. So none of my diet had changed. I'd ate the same thing Thursday. But I said, just, I'm off. But he said, well, maybe you're just tired because since that procedure, I've kind of, I've had things I had to deal with, y'all, you know, protecting our elders. So I was go, 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 and then, like I said, with the harvest and all. So I said, well, maybe you're right. About an hour later, I said, I think I need to lay down. So we're right about eight. Not too odd, but normally I'm nine, 9.30. So I laid down. 
I really started feeling like not so good. Saturday morning I get up and I'm like, oh no. So I sipped on some, sipped on some coffee and my coffee didn't taste right. So I went to my water and I knew to put, um, well, that's not just regular tap water. That's alkaline water. And I keep that in my diet daily. So anyway, um, where was I going? The chickens. I said, I'm gonna go start on cleaning out the coop. It was time to, or the run. Y'all, we may do too much, but every other week it is cleaned out and set in a pile in the back of the property. I, I, don't, I don't want to house bugs, the bad bugs. I don't want them to get um, um, the, the bird fleas. Y'all, I've been so sick I can't even think, but you know what I'm saying. So it was time to clean it out. I lasted two minutes and I said, uh, but I, I, I'll be back. I didn't make it back. I actually had my painter's clothes on because I was gonna paint my beautiful uh, roasted corn door trimmed in that linen white. Um, Buddy's video, he already had it all out, ready to go. So we had big plans. Me and my painter's clothes fell in the bed. I'm not kidding you. And it was lights out. He actually come and checked and was like, you okay? I never heard him. So as Saturday mid-morning was progressing, because remember, we started all this at daylight. Other things started happening. Then fever. Then cold chills. I changed. I actually got in the bed and I did not wake up until, while well, I was getting up to the restroom every 15, 20 minutes, but I can't even recall doing that. I did not wake up till Sunday night. It was like off and on. Uh, no fever Sunday night, none. I think the last time we checked, my temperature was Sunday morning and it was down to like a 99 .1. So fever was going away. And of course you feel better with that. Yesterday was Monday, June the 26th. Bud says, uh, you think I need to stay with you? I said, no, I'm fine. And I knew I was, you, you know when you're okay. So I stayed in the house, cool, but then all of a sudden this storm blew in I knew nothing about. And then we started having power surges. It lasted two hours. I said, oh boy, but by the grace of God, it stayed on. So as the day went, I said, oh, okay, I'm weak. But I think whatever I had's behind me until I made a phone call to my doctor. Seems at this moment, okay, I may have to go back in for further testing, but at this moment, the stomach flu. Well, where would I get that? Three to four day incubation. I was at the hospital, if y'all remember. This started on Friday. This was Monday when my brother, let's see, or Tuesday when he got out. Monday or Tuesday, anyway, I was at the hospital. Ding, ding. So I'm, because I can't think of any other place, unless it was Walmart when I was grocery shopping um, for the ladies or the other four residents. So Monday or Tuesday. So that's the only two places I've been to. I'm not, a, I don't go to town y'all, but he picks things up for us. So I said, okay, it makes sense. Let me start adding some sea salt to my water too. And yesterday, late afternoon, I said, I don't like Gatorade, but there's this thing called body armor, fruit punch that they keep in their drink fridge. Let me get some of that. It tasted great. Should have been sipping. I was just kind of doing a lot of sipping. <laughs> About an hour later, yeah, that was the dumbest thing I could have done because it kind of set me back. Mm -hmm. So I was back in the bed for a little bit. And then Buddy comes in and I said, look, I want to walk to the garden. I need to check things out. And I said, plus, I need to check on my hosinator. He said, okay. He said, it's just starting to turn. It's starting to turn. 
So we walked through and I was seeing all the mess that I just let go Friday. And he didn't pick it all up because there's some things that I leave laying. I have a reason that I either want to go to compost or I know that I don't want it to go to compost. So, and he said, he talked to me and he said, I wasn't making no sense. So he just left things the way they was. <laughs> he said, I figured you could tell me what this pile was and what that pile was when you got back your brain. <laughs> That's what he said. So I said, well, it's all good. I mean, what's it hurting laying there? Nothing. So I walk out and I look at everything and I get to the Red Rippers and I looked, y'all about cried. But then I also said, well, self, you said right there on your videos, I know two or three times to y'all, this is not the right time, but I think I'm gonna be okay. Never second guess yourself. And always have a backup plan. If I wouldn't have been steadfast on my garden two, three times a day, putting my eyes and my hands on it and just assuming it was going to do what it was supposed to do, I'd have had a lot more failure. So I told Buddy, I says, pull them and we're burning it. I said, I'm not even spraying it. I've got plenty of seeds. Thanks to Wanda for hooking me up. I got plenty of seeds and I'll, um, I'll replant for fall. No problem, because I need them aphids out of my garden. That's not their house. They need to go find another address. This one is closed. Mm -hmm. So we rounded the corner to the Hossinator. And before we get into that, I'm fixing to give y'all a clip of what the harvest was Sunday to see what Buddy picked Sunday. And then the following picture will be the harvest from yesterday, June the 26th. So the first picture is June 25th, which was Sunday. The second one is June 26th, which was yesterday. And then we'll just go ahead and go into a little short run video of the garden. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about this challenge that was sent my way with this hossinator plant from Mr. Eddie at Poor Boy's Little Homestead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna come and talk about it. If I hadn't pulled my back out, yeah, I pulled my back out this morning. I'd be doing a little jig on camera, but about the only thing I can jig right now is these, these fingers, because I'm that tired. But, first picture Sunday, Second picture was yesterday. Let's run through the little garden. And then we're gonna come back and end this video with probably the largest tomato I personally have ever grown. As you can see, the spring garden has come to an end. We didn't get a chance to get everything cleaned up. But Buddy's little pepper plants, and I don't remember what he said he planted. He started those from seed. They're doing good. And the pepperoncinis, while well, they're loading up, I hope they hang with me so I can get him some pickled pepperoncinis. There's one of the suckers. But look y'all, these long cayennes are starting to turn red. Here's those sucker tomatoes. And after looking at them, I do believe that they are gonna be the San Marzano's. These cayennes are just kicking it. Hey, Grayson. Yeah? Tell our friends what you're doing for Mama today. Why'd you come today? So I could help Mama out. Mama's been sick, huh? And y'all, let me tell you something. This little five-year-old boy, 
How do I get to It's amazing. Up there? Well, don't... we'll have to, you'll have to go to the other side maybe. Okay. Y'all, these cucumbers just keep on giving. To the point we're giving them away daily to the folks at Buddy's job. See up in here? He will pick them this evening and uh, gift someone else tomorrow. The man's doing good. I don't think I'll get another cutting of parsley. I was gonna harvest a lemon balm. I didn't get to it. But the sweet potatoes uh, since yesterday have really wilted down. Uh, we will have to water again today just a little bit because they need it. Every day, Bud's been harvesting. I'm just gonna do a quick run through, guys. It's a little hard on me in the heat. Now, yesterday, we had a windstorm come in yesterday morning that we wasn't expecting. Here you go. But a lot of these are determinants, so they're gonna go ahead and come in and then they'll move on out. You're gonna start seeing a lot of bare spots. Still loaded with tomatoes. But they're all about to come on. Like I said, most of these are determinants. I've not seen any blossom in rot, but I did go heavy handed with the calcium nitrate. But I am starting to see a little bit of splitting since I came out here just now. Oh wow, let's look in here, y'all. Look at that beauty. And yes, I'm gonna pull it and let it finish ripening. Here, Mo. Oh, what you got in your hand, Mo? These. Wow, some oh. cayennes, thank you. That's a giant. That's a giant, ah, be careful now. We're gonna have to lay that on the table. That has to be like 13. Oh, it's it's a 13 pounder. Probably. If that's a 13 pounder, I might have won a record. Okay, as you can see, I was cleaning the garden out when uh, things just kind of rapidly changed. I'll scan this away slowly. You're going to see a lot of empty grow buckets, but I think I told y'all a week ago that I was removing the squash and the zucchini. Because once they're spent, we're done. I was able to get most of the bananas out. And we're gonna walk this away. Oof. And here is that hassinator. But you're gonna see one missing. Now these are massive but there's one missing. There's a surprise. The bales, they're just about done. I think I've counted nine that I'm gonna harvest, or Buddy's gonna harvest late this evening. And the, here is the Red Rippers. Now let's talk about that. Remember I said I didn't have a spot for them in the spring. So I said, well, I'm taking a chance by doing this in the you know, early part of the summer. What was it, two weeks ago? And look how big they are right? They're just, they went crazy. When I normally plant my peas early fall. And this is what we ended up with, guys. Saturday morning, none of this was on here. Can you see that? Look right here. So many of you would probably say, you know, treat. And although I can, but he is pulling this and we're burning this because I knew 
when he told me what he found yesterday evening, I said, if we gotta pull them and burn them, because if I was to leave them to try to get a harvest right now, all I would be doing is creating a house for these things to move elsewhere. And this is aphis. So, come early fall, I will replant again and have a harvest. But it's not worth me taking a chance. And what is this we got going on? Oh, it took off. So it's not worth me taking a chance. That's why I pulled the squash. That's why I pulled the zucchini when I do, because in the deep south, guys, you don't, you, you just, you're done by the end of June. You're done by the end of June. And he left me my tomato. Y'all remember what I pulled this off of? <laughs> I don't even remember. I'll have to look at the camera and see what, where I was. Yes, the pollinating pool, it's, it's done. And the peppers, they're still loading up, guys. We are peppered out. So, again, he shared a bucket full this morning with the families at work. And that's what it's all about. You know, we, we have plenty of things that we've made for the year, and I normally can for a year. So, we go and we share. I do have some beautiful elderly ladies that y'all have met, Miss Gertie and Miss Ruth. And if I'm not able to make it, Buddy will, and he will deliver some eggs. Look at that. And some fresh vegetables. Now, I've been harvesting every other day, some every day, depending on it, cucumbers. Oh, my Lord, every day. But you saw the harvest on Sunday. Now, I'm not letting them get totally red on the vine because it is so hot. I don't want the birds to use my tomatoes as their water source, even though I offer a water bath. Still, they will find the water source and they'll just take a pick and drink and go to another one. So I'm pulling mine at an orange and I'm letting them ripen in the window, which is just fine for me. So that's what's left of the garden and the disaster on the, on the ground. You saw the red ripper peas. I'm not gonna spray them. But now we're gonna move to the video that was done about 6, 6.30 last night. And then we'll be back because I had it sitting right here in front of me. But you're gonna love it. Buddy did this part, so enjoy. I know I'm enjoying it because I done looked at it like three times already. All right, today is June 26, approximately 6.30 p.m. evening. And this is our hyacinator. And I didn't want it to go another day because it's so hot. Don't y'all look at that, huh? I don't want the birds to get it. That's a mighty large hand, and that's a mighty large mater. Miss Daddy, you watching? You watch now, because we're going from, from here. To the scale. Straight to the scale. We ain't turning the camera off. Holy Click, cow. Click, she's done. All right, we follow her, buddy. Here we go. To the scale. Let's zero. No, it ain't zeroed out. Zero. It there it goes. Is that in pounds? Yeah. Yep. 1.05 pounds. Holy cow. That's a big old hallucinator right there now. 1.5 pounds. Look at that, y'all. Now, Mr. Eddie, if we want to do it right, we'll tell you. Look at this mater here, Mr. Eddie. That thing is four pounds. <laughs> and, and I mean, 3.2 ounces. I mean, that is a beast. You hear me? But no, we got it on camera so you can see exactly what it was. 1.05. Here you go. What did you think of that? 1.34. Can y'all believe this? Now, when he pulled it and he weighed it, if you looked, my scales was sitting in um, 
what is that, the, um, the roaster? I don't remember which tomato it was, but it was kind of tilted. And I told Buddy, I said, you sure that's weighing right? He said, uh-uh. He said, we're going to take it in, and we're going to put them scales on the countertop, and we're going to re-weigh. Because we, it just kind of was sitting, you know? And the reason why he knew that because he kept having to hold it. It wanted to rock. So it was at a 1.05. When it got on a flat surface, here it is. And y'all saw, we pulled it. Now, I see one little bitty mark right here, but I'm letting that sucker ripen, and it, it's, it's big. It's heavy. I have quite a few that's large I'm looking at, but I hadn't weighed those, but I know they're not this size. So what did I do? I immediately text Mr. Eddie. And he says, I'm putting my video out tomorrow, which is today, his is coming out. And well, I don't know if I'm supposed to say it or not, but it looks like now, I don't know who all has entered or accepted his fun challenge. And that's all it is. It's just bragging rights, if you will. Um, now, I don't know what this thing's going to taste like because y'all remember, two packs of seeds, I get one plant, and all of a sudden that sucker went crazy, fed it those vitamins Mr. Eddie sent. Y'all, I was pouring everything in that plant. I was like, you going to make it or you going to die because it done made me mad. Well, I guess it hurt me because they all getting big, y'all. So, we'll see what it tastes like. So, right now it looks like I'm in the, I'm in the lead. Don't know, but it's all in fun. I feel like I'm a winner just because Mr. Eddie said, hey, Miss Lippy, I challenge you. Well, you know, Lippy takes challenges. Yes, I do. I like challenges. Not that I win them, but I like them. So, I think, I think we did good. You know, I, I think we did really good. But I'm glad Mo is here. He has been my, you know, Mo, can you do this? Or Mo, can you do that? Like he's collected the eggs. I didn't have to go out there with him. He knows how to unlatch. He knows how to latch. He double checks. Got, speaking of, <laughs> I forgot. He handed me all these uh, cayennes. <laughs> so we have some cayennes. I forgot he had handed me that. I felt something in my pocket. But yeah, I have him here with me because he is a lot of help. And he's an easy boy. Um, as long as he has his fruits and they're all cut up and ready. Papa took care of that last night. His little drink, um, his, his vegetables, and his sausage. Oh yeah, beef smoked sausage. Mm -hmm. Just cook him up a whole pound, cut him in lengths. He'd take them out of the icebox and just eat them. The boy loves his sausage or wrap it around a piece of bread. So he's easy and he has been help to me. So I say that to say, I'm gonna need a couple of more days, guys, before we can get back to the norm. I've got to uh, recoup. I'm already tired just by sitting here and it was just that little five minute walk out there. But yes, stomach flu hit and it sucked. And that's what we're calling it right now. Um, if I don't get a lot more improvement, then, you know, we're looking at blood work and we're looking at, um, you know, we, little smear tests, things like that. So we're just gonna pray that I'm just weak and I'm on my way to recovery and that's the main thing. So I can't, I'm, I can't sit here like I did Friday and say, hey, I'm gonna see y'all Saturday, I'm gonna see y'all Sunday. Cause look what happened. So, you know, have a backup plan for if that light switch says to change plans. I was just blessed that Buddy was able to work, come in, he tended to me that weekend. It didn't happen during the week. He tended to the chickens, he, he mowed, he picked up limbs from the previous storm and just one person, no tractor, and tended to the garden. Yeah, he's, he's a saint in my book, he's a saint, and I was oblivious. So I'm not gonna say I'll see y'all tomorrow, I'll see y'all Thursday, I'm just gonna say I'll see you soon. And that's the way I wanna end it, cause right now it's about 
building myself back up and I got a little ways to go. This took, this took me out. So as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. And if y'all are in the triple digits, hydrate, do not get too hot. But I'm pretty sure most of y'all's gardens are also saying, good night, we'll see you again in the fall. Because that's how we have to garden, as some of you are just now starting to see remnants of a tomato or a cucumber or just putting your stuff in the ground. So to us, garden time is over, you know, except for what's left to come out. And then we just rebuild for the next one, which is coming in September probably the end of September. Looking at the future, yeah, this is gonna be one hot summer. And air conditioned part, by the way, has yet to come in, but he had to call him last night because the air condition is struggling. So we have that portable unit going too. So it's been tough times here. So you just close all the blinds and, which I will after this video's over, and you just kind of sit in the dark because that's about all you can do or you will burn up. So I love you guys. And thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the emails. And I did receive something in the mail, but this isn't the time to share. That requires a special video from a very special lady. I won't give her name, but when y'all see that, you're gonna be like, holy cow, because that's what I said. Holy cow. Yeah. So a lot to share. A lot of, uh, I hate to say it, but I got three promotionals I'm gonna be doing. Yes. The lady that I ain't doing no promotional, well, I am because all the research, I'm actually standing behind these three. So there's a lot that's going to be coming, you know, sooner than later. But right now, my health's got to come first. So continue the prayers. I really appreciate it. And the little emails, I can sit and answer all day long. Um, I didn't check to see if I have orders. When Buddy gets in, I'll have him get the laptop from outside and bring it in and I can check to see if I have orders. So if y'all have ordered in the last four days, I will make sure they get filled this evening and he can take them to the post office in the morning because all he has to do is, you know, fill the bags, label, um, and or I can drive out on the golf cart there to the to the shed. So if you're away, if you did order, they will go out, I promise you. So stay dry, stay cool, and stay well. Key word, well, because you don't want none of this. I hear it's all over Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Till the next one, y'all.